everybody welcome back to our channel today we're going to be using some items from Dollar Tree to make these really cute little Easter Bunny candy jars so the first thing you're going to need are just two glass jars from Dollar Tree I chose to use these ones you can choose any jars you wish as long as the lid comes off they will work the next thing you're going to need are some of these plush bunnies I decided to make two you can make one or ten it doesn't really matter but I chose the brown and the gray and then you're also going to need this fun fur. I also found this at the Dollar Tree. They've been selling this in a bunch of fun colors and some of these more neutral colors. And you'll also need a pair of scissors and just a hot glue gun. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to use the bow, the head, the legs, the arms, and the tail. You're going to cut all of these off of the bunny. So if you um, pull a little bit, the, the threads start to come apart and you can get your scissors underneath of that and then it comes off quite easily for all parts of the bunny and you're going to leave the stuffing inside don't take the stuffing out so once we have all those pieces cut off then we're going to take the lid off of the jar and we're going to go ahead and hot glue the head to the jar and remember you leave the stuffing in the head it doesn't really take a lot of glue and it stays pretty well so I just held this in place for a few seconds to make sure it was where I wanted it to be and then I took my jar and I put a little bead of hot glue on that and I'm taking my fun fur yarn and start wrapping it around and you just put the glue on there to help hold it in place and then you wrap all the way down the jar and you keep sliding the yarn up to make it tight so it really fills in the um, spaces so that you don't have a lot of the jar showing through and it looks more furry like a little bunny that we're trying to make here. And then at the end you just cut the yarn with the scissors and then you're going to put another bead of hot glue just to hold the end of the ribbon in place. It really didn't take a lot of ribbon to fill this jar in. I bet I could make three or four jars with just one skein of this rib of this um, fun fur. So then we're just going to repeat the process to the lid of the jar. Just don't go too close to the rim because you don't want the fur to get underneath of the rim and make it difficult to open and close the jar. And then I just cut the string off of there, use some more hot glue and finish off the lid. And then I went ahead and put this little bow on. Now at the end, I decided to put a little pink bow on the gray bunny just because I thought it stood out a little bit better. So now that I have um, my lid back on the jar and all the fur on, I'm going to go ahead and glue on the tail, the arms, and the legs. So I pretty much just took, you know, for reference what the bunny looked like when I cut the arms and legs off. So they had the arms, they pretty much were resting on the legs of the bunny and it helps to kind of give it support so you don't really need too much glue. Um, so I just did one side at a time. I put the um, arm on first and then I glued the leg on right underneath of it to help support it. And I glued the leg, you know, kind of far down so that it would more rest on the table so that it would be supported. And this is what they look like finished. I made this gray one and this little brown one and I absolutely love these. So for $3, you have these gorgeous candy jars. I hope you guys like this video. I love the way these turned out and I hope you guys do too. And if you guys haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like and share if you could. I'd appreciate it and thank you so much for watching.